Morning, welcome to episode seven of Overdrive. Uh, in the last episode, we talked about uh, having a mobile optimized experience for your user when they come to your website. Uh, and I told you that there are basically two ways to accomplish this, and so I wanted to get right into the, the details of that. Um, there, there's two paths to go down. The first one is you already have a desktop site that you like, that has good functionality, um, and you just need a way for someone to, to view your information, your content on a, on a mobile uh, device, whether it's a phone or a tablet. The simplest way to do it is just to build a separate mobile website. Now it sounds like, oh, that's, that's kind of a big deal. I've already built this one website. I don't want to go build a second website. You know, the hard part about building a website is two things, design and content, right? I'm making that pretty simple, but a mobile site, the design is already simple. It's one column, it's big buttons. You can't get too fancy. So it's, you know, templated, it's real simple in terms of design. So that won't slow you down. Content won't slow you down because you have a desktop site that you're already happy with. So all you have to do is be, you know, a little bit choosy about what do I put on my homepage, you know, copy and paste a sentence or two here, copy and paste, you know, links to this and that, and, and you're done. So building a mobile site is not a daunting process. I, I said in the last episode that it could be done in a week. It could be done in an hour, honestly. Um, but you do have to have a little bit of technical know-how. The, the, when, when you load up the site, it has to detect, is it a mobile site? Is it a mobile device? And if it is, point it to the mobile website. Is it a desktop? Then point it to the, the big website. So there's that. And, and there are services that you can find online to help you develop a templated mobile site. There are services that'll scrape your current site and pull all the images and content in for you to drag and rearrange. Uh, and that's something that we do for our clients all the time. And so that's something I can help you with for sure. The second path is to build a whole new website that is built on a principle called responsive design. And so a responsive website is one that doesn't say, oh, here's the mobile site and here's the desktop site. It says, you know, here's one set of code, here is this website, and it will mold and shape and, and, and take shape based on the screen size. So not the device, but the screen size. So, you know, if I, if I want to have a four or five column view for real big screens, and then when it gets shrunk down to maybe an iPad, I want to put everything into a three column view or an iPad mini, I'm going to start pushing things into a two column view or a phone, a one column view. All of that is built on a grid and every piece of the, of the website is, you know, considered its own separate asset whether it's you know text or images or video, um, graphics, header, footer, all that, and then you just basically go through this you know this process of building wireframes for each screen size and say okay so for this screen size I want it to look like this, and for this screen size I want it to look like this, and then we you know we move these assets around and we scale things so an image that uh, you know might be this number of pixels on the four column view we're going to scale that down to to this size on the one column view so. That is something that I, I don't think most people can do themselves. Um, you know, we build responsive design websites on a CMS, a content management system that allows users to go in and make changes and everything, but um, that is not as quick and painless as, as just building its own mobile site. So, but it does have some big advantages because it kind of future proofs your site so that, um, you know, the next device comes out and it's, you know, I, I, who knows, right? But as devices change, as long as your website is adaptable to screen size rather than device, um, you've kind of future proofed your, your site for at least a little while. I mean, we never know what the future holds, but, um, so I would say if you're going to build a site from scratch, make sure that it's responsive and responsive design is kind of like you know, in the last year or so, it's become the big thing. So WordPress themes are being developed with responsive design. Um, some content management systems are still trying to catch up. Some people build websites on Wix and Wix does not have uh, true responsive design functionality built in to most of their templates, but they do have, you know, the ability to say, okay, let's detect the device and, and change the shape. So there's a little bit of responsive nature to Wix, but we build sites on a, on a proprietary uh, platform that can be used and um, so anyway that's the recap is you can go build a mobile site or you can build a responsive design site that does everything for you um, one is fast and cheap and, and relatively painless the other one you know it, it can take a while and and time costs money but it is a better overall strategy we'll see you on the next episode of overdrive if you have any questions you need any help 
email me at coverby at wrl.com or tweet me at cmoverby. See ya.